today guys is my last PT session, one-on-one -on -one session with my lovely PT, Nikki, Nikki T Fitness. I'm really stiff um, because I've ridden out the last two days. I can't even hold the camera off, <laughs> my arms are shredded. Also look at this bruise. That's not from riding out, that is from literally <laughs> pushing me into the wall. Anyway, I've got my last PT. I'm trying to multitask. Uh, Nikki sent me the Zoom link because that's it's these PT sessions over Zoom. So I'm just going to join and then we'll go from there. Uh, join with audio. Hey. Hi, vlog. <laughs> um, I'll put this down now. You're late. I know, I'm always late. <laughs> Oh, I feel so much better after that. It's actually amazing how a bit of mobility um, can really help. Like I feel so much better. Um, and obviously ran through some of the exercises that I'm most weakest on before Monday. So I feel much more prepared. Anyway, you see now that I've cheered up a bit, <laughs> that was probably, also apologies for the most miserable vlog introduction probably of my life ever. Um, I am really, really happy to say that the lovely team at Mochara are on board as sponsors for this vlog and supporting me through the whole fitness test process on my road to Goodwood for the Magnolia Cup. So I've already got some leggings on guys, you will have seen them as I was working out in them, but I've got quite a few other bits and bobs, which I'm gonna do a little haul. I didn't need to show you my leggings because they've already sent another pair of leggings, which is fantastic. So these are the same riding leggings in black. They have everything that you would want from a riding legging. They have two pockets, which is great because you don't have to choose what and you live in. They're so stretchy, like really, really stretchy, and I love them. This is the first time I've actually seen this out of the bag in real life. Oh, it's a really lovely material. It's kind of thicker than I thought it would be, but in a good way. Sage green and lovely. So you've got the zip here. Please don't look at my nails. Zippity doo da. Lemon good fit. Oh my god, I look, it makes me look really tad as well. Yes, I like this. Ta-da, same in lilac. These are really lovely, lovely pastel-y colours and I'm here for that. I've got sleeves. I've got sleeves, so this is the sleeve. Not sleeveless, with sleeves. Well, sleeveless with sleeves, anyway. Um, it's taupe, which is nice. Look, got the branding on the arm here. Again, this is a size small, but they're so, it just completely sucks you in. Also, worth noting that this fabric is SPF 40. So it helps, it protects you from the sun, basically. It's got like UV protection. They've got their like lounge wear too. So you've got these tracky bummy jogger things. Oh, this is like a zippy, a quarter zip hoodie. That's, that's edgy. Yes, queen. Put them again in the taupe. Oh, yes. These here. All of this kit. Guys, you know, when I pass the fitness test, I've got to keep up the fitness. I can't just stop the fitness because there's still a month to the race. Hello, I am Nikki. I have been personal training Lucy in the run up to her race at Goodwood. It's been really, really nice and also a challenge. <laughs> Lucy is, uh, is the most well behaved student at times. Lucy has obviously quite a few exercises to get through in her test and she asked me if I could run through the form, kind of how Lucy is expected to do it and any tips for her to watch back and go over just to kind of give her that little boost before she starts, just to get her form really polished because I'm a big believer in your form being super important if you've got strong foundations, then things will be always easier in the long run. But Lucy's first exercise involves a exercise ball. Um, but pretty much, Lucy is starting with a ball behind her on the wall. So we've been putting it at kind of just kind of between her lower back and her bum. 
she needs that 5 kg weight as well out in front of her. So the weight that gets held here, she needs to step away from the wall slightly and then from here she carries out 20 repetitions. She needs to come down to a right angle at the knee joint and then drive back up again. So quite simple actually, this is actually one of Lucy's favourite because she knows that she can do it. She kind of been able to do this one from the start. Um, so yeah, 20 repetitions with Lucy. I've made sure that she kind of she sometimes gets quite warm in knees at the bottom. So we've been really working on kind of making sure the knees are strong and stacked over the heel and going in the same direction as the toe. So yeah, 20 repetitions, up and down, keeping nice and stable. And then at the bottom, she needs to hold up for 20. She comes down and they hold up to 180 seconds. So it's kind of, I guess, I'm mimicking a wall sit, but they've added this for that extra kind of stability test, I suppose. Next up, Lucy is to get into a plank. She's in an L row plank. So normally when I would teach a plank, I would always kind of start off elbows underneath the shoulders, and I always kind of say feet hip distance apart. However, during the test, Lucy last time did get told to put her feet together. So yeah. So that's how we've kind of had to go over it. Now, one thing that we kept on covering was you don't want to be in a kind of floppy plank, is what I would call it. So like letting your core muscle go and kind of drooping is going to put loads of pressure in your lower back. So the longer Lucy can hold it whilst engaging here, drawing her tummy muscles in and keeping her rib cage pulled down as well, and those shoulder blades kind of contracted, well, not contracted, pulled apart, the better the quality she can hold it for longer. So we're down onto the elbows, underneath the shoulders, feet together, and then instead of being here, we want to draw the tummy muscles up and in, tuck the rib cage in, and almost push the ground away with my elbows. So I've got a nice high plank with my coccyx tucked away, my lower tummy muscles engaged, and then just holding from here. One thing I do emphasize with this is like to breathe through it because if she can count the breathing kind of four in, maybe five seconds out, it's gonna kind of get her through it more because well, she can she has the option to hold it up to 340 seconds. She needs to hold 60% of that, so just over halfway. But um, Lucy can hold quite a long time with the plank down. So, you know, we decided that she's gonna go hard and then kind of make sure that she gets a really high percentage in that one. So something like a push-up hold where she might struggle a bit more, she can kind of build up the points, if that makes sense. The next on the list is the elastic band push. I'm assuming that is for the explosiveness when going with the reins as she is racing. It's to 50 beats per minute. Like that. She has to keep herself nice and still. There's a lot of core going on here. I have to brace myself quite hard. And she's basically explosively pushing the arms away from her. They've got to be dead straight and extended so the elbows can't be like this, otherwise she's out. And it is quite challenging. I do know that the band is quite tight. Lucy, you got this. But next up, Lucy has her wobble cushion squats. These are her arch nemesis, and that is because um, Lucy does experience quite a lot of knee pain. I haven't got any wobble cushions, however, I do have these plates, which are nothing like wobble cushions. Imagine these are basically little soft, squidgy cushions, almost like the ball, but flat, like disc versions. So Lucy basically has to stand on it. She has a stick out in front of her, and she has to hold a nice position all the way down. It, all, it instructs you to get your thigh down to um, so it's parallel with the floor. So I've been encouraging Lucy to not kind of do this as much, but trying to train her to come down to the squat, sit up tall with the shoulders rolled back, tummy muscles engaged, and sending your her bum back like this. And she can hold this for anything up to 240 seconds. 240 seconds. <laughs> which is, I think, quite a long time to be holding that position. Next up, Lucy has got leg raises. Now, this one I do actually find a bit strange. I think it's basically because they have up to 240 seconds that they can do it for. It's at the 50 BPM again, so like the um, resistance band pushes, it's just one, two, one, two. Now, Lucy has to get her legs up every time with that as well. 
So it is quite a mission. Beep, 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 beep. It's very quick and I don't think very, doesn't give the, um, the riders very much opportunity to control the movement, but there's probably a reason behind it. And um, they also are instructed that they can put their hands underneath their bum. Now, normally I would always kind of like teach, and I did teach Lucy at first, not to put her hands under her bum, but to actually push her spine into the floor and the rib cage down to really brace her core. However, it seems to be that the pace of which they're going at, instead of going for a nice controlled leg raise where you're coming up and down steadily, it's more like kind of hands under the back kind of method. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Lucy seems to do this really, really well. I think that she's quite strong in that area. Um, but I have said to her, as long as just like the plank, with the plank, you're kind of pulling your tummy muscles up and in towards the ceiling. With this one, you're pulling them down and into the floor. And as long as she can kind of hold this, it's gonna make sure that there's no kind of pressure down through her lower back. And I do think that Lucy probably will do the whole 340 seconds. Um, I think this one is one of her strong, stronger areas. And yeah, she's going back it. So the last one is the push-up position hold. She hates this one. So pretty much in the last test, if you watched it on Lucy's YouTube channel, Lucy kind of came into the position and her elbows kind of stuck up and her shoulder, shoulders kind of pointed down. So when she was in the position, she was kind of squeezing herself in. Now the, the people that were judging the, like, the movements seemed to be fine with it, um, but Lucy kind of, she likes to be in a knee position to get herself into it to start with. And what happened is she kind of came down, pinching really hard, went into it and then her bum went up and her chest was very low. So she ended up squeezing herself so hard to stay in it. I think that she did really, really well considering that's how she did it. And that we've been working since on getting that form better. So hands apart, spreading the hands as well. So she's got like nice big paws on the floor. And then from there, she's rolling her shoulder blades in and then guiding her chest through, opposed to going like this and throwing herself forward with her shoulders. Elbows are coming diagonally down. I think holding a push-up position like this puts a lot of pressure through the traps and the wrists and then here is just a little bit kind of confined. So if we can open the chest out and trap the shoulder blades down properly, it works a lot better. They want to see a elbow at a right angle. So this elbow joint at a right angle. So you see needs to basically have our feet together again. That's what they expect. Tummy muscles pulled in and under is going to help her support it for a longer time. And then she's coming down and holding it at a right angle. So just literally holding that position, pulling the belly button in, and that's how she's doing it. We are with Lucy, I, think she, I do believe she is going to go knees, come down, then put the knees up. Um, and the test examiner is super okay with that. I think it's up to 90 seconds with this one. And um, I find it very challenging myself. Um, I can do quite a few push-ups now. Um, but yeah, push-up hold is quite challenging. I think she needs to believe in herself more with this one. I think that it's a mindset thing and I think that that's what holds her back and I have full faith in her being able to hold it for longer. And that is all her uh, exercises, apart from the walk bike. I left Lucy to her, her own devices with the walk bike to train at home. I think Lucy has been running and doing kind of like interval training um, because the intensity is really high on the walk bike. I think she has to stay between a certain level of like output on the bike. Um, but yeah, I kind of left Lucy to her own device on that one. I think she has to do three minutes solid or something. Um, we kind of decided between us that we would do it like that way. <laughs> Vibing, I'm sending her vibes. <laughs> Good luck, Lucy. You can do this one. It's all in your mind. Your mind is powerful. You've got this. Go, Lucy, go. I'm here. I'm here. I've arrived. I'm really not looking forward to this, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, however, I have just received a video from Nikki which I'm going to watch now. Today is the day that you are going to smash your fitness test. I know you can do it. I just know you can. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Thanks, Nikki, for that. Why am I so, like, oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed, that's why. I'm all, like, ugh. So, right, I'm going to go in. I need a wee. That's also what's stressing me out. I need a wee so bad. So, yeah. Um, see you in there. Ooh.
I'm here to do a voiceover of this chaos which is about to happen. So first of all, we've got the exercise ball squats, which these are fine starting off with. But obviously, the hard part is holding it for three minutes on this down position. Just in a moment. And for some reason, I got my ball in just such an awkward position. As you can see, why is it literally up by my head, which made my squat quite bad. However, I did hold it for the whole three minutes. So... Boom, did it. So next up is the plank. And as Nikki said, this one I think I could do. I've been working on quite a lot. Obviously four minutes is quite a long time to hold a plank. Before I started this whole process, I couldn't even plank for 30 seconds. And that is not a lie. However, this one really, once I'd sorted out my form, engaged my core, I found it pretty, pretty okay. And up until now i think the last time i did this fitness test i did 222 Five, four, and here i'm in the three, literally the last seconds two, of doing one. the whole four minutes oh my God, well done. Well done. great done. effort brilliant good going good say revelation huh talk less and go longer uh, i've never done that before <laughs> well done That's mid mid session update I've just done 100% on the wall set and 100% on the plank. I did four minutes. Oh my gosh. Now it's raining and I'm literally standing outside. Like, just oh, my lower back, though. I felt it go at the end. But um, Kim said that my position, sorry, I'm just getting ahead. Look how shaky I am. My position is loads better than last time. So thank you, Nikki. Um, I'm, so good. I'm just scared. I'm just, it's the, like, the realization that if we don't do this, we're then. So, it's like, and if you do, then yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next was the elastic band push, and I'm actually really annoyed about this one because I only did 38 seconds, which got me 38%. But I it wasn't because I was tired; it's because I didn't realise that my elbows weren't locking, and I don't feel like I got a warning, but it's Not they pulled me up on it anyway because I was literally so untired, and I could have gone for a lot longer um i'm just trying to see where the problem look i thought i was okay but you see the confusion on my face and sadness i can't actually tell you how much i detest these wobble cushions my knees are absolutely terrible i got pulled up so many times about my bum being too high and yeah to be fair it's really high in the air i'm basically doing a duck position um but i absolutely ethically failed on this one i think i only got 29 percent because look at me i can't do it my knees were felt like i was being stabbed in the knees felt like my kneecaps were being crushed and i decided you know what screw this <laughs> The push up hold, dun dun dun, the deadly push up hold, and I think my form started quite well. And then for some reason, I think my shoe started slipping, and um, which just completely threw me. Uh, I think I'd been outside before, so it was wet. However, I did manage a respectable 44 seconds, which gave me 49%, which was better than last time, but obviously still not ideal. And I actually did better. I was for once the person that did the best, but look here, I'm going and gone. <laughs> Well done, guys. You got really flexible shoulders. And the grand finale, the Watt bike, which is possibly the worst form of torture, it's like modern day torture. I will add, we did also do the leg raises and I got 77%. Got to put that bit in. You have to go flat out on this thing for three minutes and you can't let it drop below a certain cadence. And if you do, you get a big fat zero. So it's literally three minutes of your life where you have to pedal like an absolute lunatic. And I'm really sad that this guy is filming me because <laughs> So not enjoying life. My knees were burning. My lungs were about to fall out of my mouth. And it just was just so unenjoyable. However, I did manage to do, the, obviously, the full three minutes. You have to do the full three minutes. And I did actually get a percentage on this one. Whereas last time, I got big, fat, zero. So I've done better. 
which is good. However, it did take me a long time to recover. A very long time indeed. You can see I die. Here's the death. Here is the death. Keeping it real from laughing. I hate this thing. And if I try and stand up now, guys, ready for this? Yeah, well, me, you said you can crawl when you're ready. I think I will. There's a disabled left. Yeah, there's a left. Yeah. So, Lucy, crawl to the left. <laughs> I feel so cruel just what, just recording about her vlog. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm up. Okay. Hey. Nope. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay, we're good. This is better than last time. This is better than last time. Don't bend. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got the results of the fitness test in. You've all passed. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god! Just, just, just. Just. So, gotta stress that, gotta keep the levels up. <laughs> Lucy, you've got 62. Whoa, so again, okay. just, um, yeah. I think you all know the areas that you need to work on. I think it was quite clear from today. Ah! <laughs> I said don't have a reaction. I've literally just spent the last 10, 15 minutes absolutely just elated at the fact that I never have to see a Watt bike ever again. However, I will be carrying on with my training. To be fair, like, Passing this fitness test, this has been my main focus for the last. How many? When was the last one? When was the last? Was it test? May. Six May. May. So like, for a good. Where are we now? June. Week. Yeah, six weeks. I've been just putting everything into just trying to pass, and I've done it. And so is Rosie. Smashed it, and she's done it with a broken hand. <laughs> so um. Yeah, I mean, guys, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it, and I'm over the moon. So you're racing. We're racing. Yeah, we're, racing. we're racing. We'll see you at Goodwood. Um, but I hope you enjoyed following along with my fitness journey. Um, and I want to say a huge thank you to Nikki T for coaching me along the way. Because yeah, without Nikki, without you, Nikki, I probably would be still flat on my face in that gym. Um, because even Kim said that my form had improved and it's just looking a bit better. So I'm really, really happy. And obviously a huge thank you to Mochara for coming on board and sponsoring this video. Also, if you guys wanna check out Mochara, make sure you head over to their Instagram, head over to their website, just check them out. They've got, obviously their gear is designed for riders, but it's perfect for working out in. Um, and so there's no excuse not to get in that gym and get riding fit guys. So anyway, I'm panting along because my day is not over yet. Um, I'm going to go on to the next phase of the training, which you will have to keep an eye on for on my channel at some point in the future. So yeah, we will watch this space guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment, say well done to me and the girls, because we all passed. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I had my lunch and then got interrupted by something. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you the results of a fitness test. I failed. Did you know? Oh, Lucy. Um, no, I'm joking. I actually passed. <laughs> yes, I was, I was like, I didn't really believe, like, I was thinking, you should take the test out of me right now, but I didn't want to, just say, just in case it was real. <laughs> I passed, yay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know, that was a quick result. I know they actually told me on the day. I know!
I'm really excited to be racing in the 2022 Markle Magnolia Cup in support of the Brilliant Breakfast Initiative in aid of the Prince's Trust. The Prince's Trust's tailored programs and long-term support give young people the practical skills and emotional resilience to pick themselves back up and create their own positive futures. The funds raised for the Brilliant Breakfast will ensure more young women are supported through programs at the Prince's Trust, helping them into jobs, education and training. My Just Giving page is live now and I'm accepting donations, anything that you can possibly spare to give for this brilliant, brilliant charity would really mean the world to me and obviously lots of other people. So I'll pop the link below in the description box and if you could please donate, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching.